Welcome back to the sixth episode of this series. I have carved out some stuff, or I designated some uh, some rooms. Uh, first, if you go down two levels, you'll see I have carved out our farm. Then, if you go down one, two, three more levels into the rock layer, I have carved out this area. This will be our storage area here is one storage place and eventually i will connect this one to it uh, as you can see i le left open this so they won't be carving out this until i designate this strip um, one level down here will be our uh, our workshops here i will be putting the workshops again these large uh, open spaces will be some storage area I will be sorting everything neat so we need a lot of storage area uh, here another um, uh, some some more space for workshops uh, as you can see here are the upstairs leading towards the storage area so they have quick access to, to the materials which is always nice uh, one more level down we are at the living quarters. You see here huts of 3 by 3. Some people I see making living quarters of 2 blocks by 2 blocks. Uh, that's okay, I guess. But I think dwarves will get happier from 3 by 3 blocks. And you can always add some extra stuff like a cabinet or like a weapon rack. And that will make the dwarves even more happier. And happy dwarves means uh, a good run in Dwarf Fortress. So always try to make your dwarves happy um, a level a level down extra uh, on top here you see here will be our uh, mess hall our meeting hall uh, these three by three squares will have will get a, a well in the middle so below this i have to carve out the caverns uh, or the sewer or the waterworks however you want to call them um, so for wells Preferably made of gold, since I like that. Just the th thought about it. Um, some dwarves like gold, but some dwarves like stones, or some dwarves like dirt. Uh, really depends on uh, on the randomness and the settings of the dwarves. So doesn't really matter if you make it gold, but gold is a more val valuable material than mudstone. So it will give your fortress more wealth. Um, as you can see, I didn't carve out the door, since when I start this area, I want to work first on this. These 3x3 three three blocks will, and this one, will have our still, our brewery, and our cook. These two squares will hold the, the drinks, the actually alcohol barrels that are finished. And here will be our prepared food that comes out of the kitchen. These four squares will contain our raw food. So just the fish and just the fat and the, the meat from the, from the cows and from the buffaloes or anything else in the game. Uh, below this will be our fishery, tanner to make leather and the butchery. And here will be make, here it's important to make uh, doors to this area since not all dwarves like to see uh, animals slaughtered so make sure you get a door in there um, I think I'm pretty much ready to let this run so I never unpause the game up till now but it's about time we do so when I unpause it I escape this and when I unpause the game you see my dwarves go moving they will get uh, the animals to their uh, pastures. They will chop down trees. The miners will start digging here, the stairway, and go all the way down and eventually clear out the farm. One more thing about farms. If you are in a soil layer, so not a rock layer, uh, you can immediately, immediately start uh, plotting a farm. If you are in a rock layer, you have to flood the area. 
so it really uh, remains mud and on mud you can uh, plot a farm uh, I see a lot of videos where people flood an already soil area and it's not really not necessary doesn't matter so if you have a site with uh, a lot of layers of soil you can just start your farm there um, for now I will be I'm pausing this game. So you see our alpacas are already in the pasture. Our uh, turkeys as well. Our cats are roaming around. They already killed a rat or something here. Langfish remains. Ah, they killed a langfish. That's awesome. Um, our miner started here on the on the hallway to the farm, but I think they are already down. Yes, they're already here, digging their way through. So. I will come back when the farm is ready. See you guys. That didn't take too long to carve this out. Uh, soft layers like uh, the sand layers are uh, much easier for your miners to dig through. Uh, in these stone layers, it takes a while. So our farm area is cleared. We press the B. That stands for build, building, so B, and we go through this list to find a farm. I believe it's B, but I will look it up for you guys. Mm, can't really find it. Oh, I think I have to, yeah, here now. Here yeah, it's uh, the P, or you can with a plus and a minus you can navigate the list and just select it by enter. Uh, this works like uh, like your local window on the world map where you embark. With the U and the K you can uh, uh, grow your farm size. With the H you can and the M you can make it smaller. So we make a 5 by 4 size farm now. Press enter. And our farmers should be able to get to this and start working and creating the farm. Um, then we are going down some levels because everything is carved out and we want to keep our miners busy. We're gonna mine out our workshops. So our uh, workshop dwarfs can start working on the stone and the wood. So unpause again. And we go check on the farm. Yeah, our farmer is already here. If you press, let me see, U, no, V, yes, V, we can check on this unit. And we see he's actually armorer, but that this is because he has the most skill in uh, armor smelting or armor making. So he runs away, that makes uh, our farm complete. Um, here you see you can press A, B, C and D to change the seasons. We will be making, for each season, for now, we will be um, making plump helmets. So for the spring, press B for the summer and plump helmets again. Press C for the autumn, plump helmets again, D for the winter. And plump helmets again and he should get the plump helmet spawns they are like the seeds for the plump helmets bring them here plant them and they should grow so i guess that's it for now since they're nearly not finished i can let this run but i unpause the game or i continue the video when they uh, clear this area out so they finally cleared the area out. 
didn't take long for you guys but it takes some time to get through the so stone for the dwarves um, here I will be pressing B for build then the W for workshops I will be making three types of shops for now uh, a mason I need here you see the dark crosses if you can see it you probably can St the dark crosses will be impossible for your dwarves they can't walk over them or on them the light crosses the light green crosses they are possible so you should make sure you don't uh, sh uh, cut off the area so they can't go into the shop um, so amazing right here uh, here you can choose what kind of material you want to use for the mason uh, I just used yet it's uh, already here here you can see the distance where they have to go to get the stone or the, the wood you can actually build them from wood as well or from our coke you should watch out don't use the, the coke for it um, alright uh, so a mason uh, a carpenter's workshop right here also from yet that's good and a crafts dwarf here we can create some crafts and get some extra weld all right uh, these shops will be built and i will be setting these uh, these buildings to some products to make but we will, we will be doing that in the next video so see you guys in the next video